Hello everybody, it's Ed here from Metric Mogul, and today I'm going to show you how to track transactions using Google's enhanced e-commerce feature. So first of all, uh, this is my test website, and I have a uh, standard e-commerce site. Um, it's just a very basic one, but it, it will be useful as an example. So when you buy and you head to the checkout, we'll pretend that this is the order confirmation page. What I want to do whenever there's an order here, I want to send that information to Google Analytics so I can track who has been ordering and what marketing channel they've come from. So to do that, I'm going to do this with Google Tag Manager, which is already on place in place uh, on this website. And I also need a valid data layer on the page. So first of all, let's create the data layer. I'm going to go over to datalayerdoctor.com and load up my data layer specifications for this website. As you can see, there's nothing here yet, but I'm going to create a new placement and this is going to be a sales confirmation page. All right, so this is order placed. And um, we're going to use this particular page like that. That's the test URL if we need that. And I'm going to add a block template of a purchase. Let's get rid of the default one. So you can see purchase here. We now have a valid data layer for this page. But there are a few things I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of coupon in both here and here because these aren't required. And to make things simple, I'm going to remove them like that. So that leaves us with this data layer here. All right, so let's save this. I head over to the documentation page and I'm going to copy this entire data layer onto the page which is my sales confirmation page. So in it goes, and you'll see that this goes before the Google Tag Manager code. So the Google Tag Manager code is here. My data layer is here. And this is because I want this information to be recorded as soon as the page loads. There's one thing to note here. We're doing a data layer push. So I'm pushing some information, this whole object, to this JavaScript variable called data layer. But this data layer is not yet defined. So if, if you want to do this and you do it this way, you want to put bar data layer equals array. So we're just initializing the data layer to an empty array. This allows us to push a value into it and then uh, everything will work as expected. So let's save that and uh, refresh the page. And now if we view the page source, We've now got the data layer on the page. Now, obviously, if you were doing this for real, you would have to replace these values, the revenue, the shipping, the tax, the transaction ID, and the products that were in the basket at the time of purchase, you would have to replace those with the, the thing um, that someone actually bought. So they'd have to be dynamic values. And this script uh, is just a template. So all these values would have to be replaced server-side when, um, when the code was run. So for example, if you have a PHP site, then it might be something like echo uh, transaction value. All right, something like that. So you'd have to speak to your developers on how to do that, but uh, that's, that's not the scope of this tutorial, but that is a server-side bit of script that they need to write. So you need to get them to replace all these values. All right, so we'll assume for the moment though that these values are correct and this is what's going to be on the on the page. So once we've done that, the next thing is to set up Google Tag Manager. So you're going to go into your base tag, which is the standard Universal Analytics base tag, and come down to more settings, e-commerce. You're going to enable enhanced e-commerce and you're going to use data layer. And that is it. You tick those two things and then let's preview this by publishing it or previewing it even. And now whenever I load this page, uh, I'll get an analytics event sent along. We can see that uh, enhanced e-commerce is set to true and all that information will be sent along with GA. But if we want to double check that the data layer is correct, you can do that using the Chrome extension, data layer docs Chrome extension. So I'm just going to load that up and that will show me here what the data layer is on the page and also what it should be. And if we want to check that those are the two things, so I'm just going to run a scan and that shows me the results here. So I can see everything is correct. Uh, we've got coupon missing. Remember those were the two that I took out because I, I didn't need them, but they're optional, so we're going to leave that. 
And this one, product ID, well, it's getting a bit confused here because we've got two IDs. We've got the transaction ID and the product ID. Uh, so we can ignore that one because I know that those two are correct. So we know the data layer is correct and we know that information is correctly going into GA. Once you've done that, um, you need to go into your GA admin and you need to come to e-commerce settings and make sure that both in uh, enable e-commerce is on and also enhanced e-commerce is on too. And then once you've done that, you'll find you'll have a whole load of reports under e-commerce, overview, and all of these ones. So if we have a quick look at sales performance now, we can see that our transaction is coming in. We're recording the revenue, the tax, and the shipping. So that is it. It's very quick to set up uh, e-commerce with, if you use data -led doctor specifications and also Google Tag Manager. The only difficult bit that you have to get your developers to do is to make sure that they replace these values correctly with the correct things that are being purchased. So I hope that helps. Um, you can go and create a data -led doctor account for free and this will help you generate these specifications that you can then send to your developers to get them to implement. So I hope that you found that useful. Do leave me a comment and uh, I'll speak to you soon.